NZ Division formed the number one mule pack company for mountain warfare. Where vehicles couldn't go, mules and donkeys could. The men came from the Army Service Corps and infantry, the animals from the natives, and the harness from bits of Italian equipment. The water cans were German. The first stages of the day's maneuvers were through cactus hedges, something of a novelty for New Zealanders, but not for the donkeys. They'd been in the cactus before. A mule train doesn't need rails. It can go anywhere. It's not altogether an express, but what it lacks in speed, it makes up in certainty. It can be relied on to deliver its 15 tons of luggage to the most inaccessible places. and cold, but hearts are high. The boys are home again. We have never seen this before. Our men in thousands have returned from two wars when war was ended. These men come to rest from war. To mothers, fathers, wives, sweethearts and children, they bring relief and gratitude, happiness and pride. They have earned their rest. gangways isn't quick enough. Some crawl out portholes, some slide down ropes, eager to meet friends again, to walk in their land again. Prime Minister goes on board to welcome them. There are to be no formal ceremonies. For those whose duty it has been to wait and work at home, this is a moment worth waiting for. The boys are back, hurrying for that first meeting after three and a half years. Some, there's a train journey yet before they reach home. Some whose homes are in the south must wait until tomorrow. Their welcome will have time to grow. There'll be more journeys before this war is over, but they've beaten the enemy more than once, and they'll beat him yet again. This is just a rest from battle. It's northwards now, and home. On wayside stations, people gather to wave, to bring food and smile, to chat a while, to show their men they've not forgotten them. To every station come women whose hearts are touched with pride. In Auckland, Thousands gather to welcome men with whom they lived and worked, men with whom they played and talked and laughed, until war sent them 10,000 miles away. Now they're home again. They're cheerful and they're confident. They've won dignity through danger. Theirs is the honor. Ours is the pride. Thank you.